Hey, we're gonna get into a behind the scenes, take you a day in the life of a influencer, a nano influencer out here working a nine to five and a five to nine. But today Good morning. Good morning guys welcome back to diamonds and niece if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you are not new don't you guys know i appreciate you <laughs> i don't know what i was going to say but please subscribe if you are new thank you for checking out my channel today we're going to get into a behind the scenes take you a day in the life of a influencer a nano influencer out here working a uh, nine to five and a five to nine but today is my off day um it is the weekend so i'm gonna show you, take you guys like behind the scenes on how i do everything today i get a lot of compliments a lot of questions about how do i do this how do i do that how do i take great photos using just this device literally y'all and once i grow a little bit i'll invest so first the key is to have breakfast I am eating spinach egg. Mm. I'm eating sausage and I'm eating my favorite croissants. Guys, I get these from Trader Joe's. They're so good. So I'm gonna show you, take y'all like throughout my whole day what I have to do. This is still a one person show when it comes to vlogging, when it comes to creating content, when it comes to running my life, buying groceries, mm -hmm. like I'm doing it all. So I'm gonna take y'all with me for the whole day. Okay, now that I'm done with the most important meal of the day, we are actually about to, we gotta leave in 10 minutes because I like to get out while the sun is popping. I like to try to be done before noon, really before 11 o'clock and it's 10 o'clock now. So it does not take me long to take my photos either. So the first thing I do last night, I already kind of prepped and I already have like all of my outfits together. So they're just like all laying right here. So let's see where I can put them. The first thing I do is just gather all my outfits. So this is already the one that's where I'm gonna start. And then I have everything else right here. I actually need to iron this shirt. I forgot to do that last night. So typically I would iron everything the day before um, just so it's ready. I wanted to wear a different shirt. I'm gonna go see if I can find it. And then if not, I'm gonna have to do this one and we just gonna, we gonna go about our business. Um, so get your clothes out the day before. And I kind of just lay them right here with the shoes. Oh, I'm doing four outfits today. Okay. So you guys know I work Monday through Friday. I'm still trying to balance my other page. Do I have a SOP page? I'm trying to balance that, which I will be getting help with. This month, I gotta send out those applications to those lovely ladies that did say, hey, they were interested. So I'm gonna send that out so we can have a call and we can get that situated. But um, I work Monday through, usually I work, no, I don't work Monday through Friday, but I usually work like four, maybe five, sometimes maybe six days a week. I do work quite a bit. And the weekends, I'm like sliding. I have some towels on the floor that I need to wash. I, um usually try to batch everything on the weekends because I don't have time during the rest of the week. So I usually just have a bag, whatever. I like to put everything that I'm gonna need. So like my lipstick, my shoes, any accessories that I need to grab and go from there. How to put everything in that I need. Y'all been just wearing my Fenty lip gloss. I'm not really switching it up today. Am I gonna put on a different look? Uh, I might put on a red lip with that outfit, one outfit. So I'll bring my red lipstick, but I'll put like my lip gloss in here. I have my little um, camera clicker. I'm gonna put that in here. All the links to every accessory that I use is gonna be in the description box. All right, so now we are on the go. I am really bad at showing y'all the chaotic part. I literally left, then had to go back to my house and then had to run upstairs because I thought I left my, thought I lost my wallet. And then I 
came back to my car and it was in my car. And then I left my um, iPad, so then I had to go back upstairs again. I live on the third floor, so. Woo, sha -la 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 -la. So, I was kind of telling y'all the last time we stopped, I was packing my bag. So usually I, the things I put in my bag is just basically whatever accessories or makeup or shoes, socks, um, little tidbit things like that that I'll need in between the shoes because my car is going to be my changing room okay so I am going to oh no the sun looks like it's going away I hope it comes back it's supposed to be sunny today hmm, maybe where I'm going to be sunny all right so this is the camera stand that I use I got this from Amazon as well so I'm just gonna put my camera my phone up on that let's adjust this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Can y'all see me? Okay. So, phone goes right on there. Y'all, I broke this. I think I might have told y'all that already. I need to get a new one. But I'm gonna hang, it's hanging in there. We're gonna hang on. So we had a beautiful area and we got kicked off of the property. Apparently it was private property. I didn't see any private property signs. I usually do look for that in those open areas. But yeah, unfortunately the guy was like, you have to have permission to take any type of photos out here. That was like the perfect spot, y'all. Like that was a one-stop shop. Like I already had scouted like four locations. And now I'm on the other side of town and I'm not really 100% familiar. So now we have to find another spot. Like this is legit. This is, this is, these are real, real world influencer problems that you probably will run into. Um, I'm trying to see if I want to go that way or this way. Man, I really don't know where else to go. And the, I'm losing my son. I'd like to be done before 12 o'clock. It's 1120. That was really open. I wonder if I even got like one picture on there. <laughs> By the time it took me to set up, y'all saw my camera was falling. I'm holding it together, y'all. I really am, but I'm really, I'm not happy, happy right now. I'm not a happy camper right now. Okay guys, so I finally found a location and this is usually how I just take my photos. I like to try to choose really nice, beautiful looking locations, but also, uh, areas that just aren't super busy because it is kind of annoying when you have a lot of people walking and you're trying to take your photos so because I'm using this stand that I told you guys is also linked in my bio it comes with a Bluetooth remote usually I'm just constantly like resetting and setting making sure that I'm in frame sometimes I'll switch back and forth from like a portrait mode and Sometimes I'll zoom in. If you guys are interested, I can do another video and kind of show you some of the different settings that I use when I'm taking photos. And this is what I do. As you guys can see, I just keep taking the photos. I'm just snapping, snapping, and snapping away. And I am hoping that out of all the shots that I have, one or two of them I really like and I can use. All right, we are done with two outfits. <sighs> Yikes. My phone, y'all. Casemate, shout out to Casemate because they make the best cases. Go get you a Casemate case. This case is in my description box if you guys want it. But I told y'all that I had broke my um, tripod. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another one because it's just not holding my phone. If I have to make the wrong movement, like my phone is falling off. All right, so outfit number two done. I'm about to change for numero. Some good lighting right here we got two more outfits so we're we're actually we're getting them done y'all see i do not take long to get photos oh my god i forgot that i had this on my wrist these photos look so bomb but i'm mad but i can i'm sure i'm sure i can uh probably like erase that that sucks. Aww. 
All right, so for this shoe, I am kind of just getting myself together. I just so happen to have, or not really me, this little mirror you should just happen to be very reflective and I could kind of see how I look so I'm just making sure that my outfit looks good the poses that I kind of want look good and then I snap away the cool thing is that this Bluetooth remote reaches pretty far I'm not really sure the distance but the camera as you guys can see is right here in the front of this um, shot and I am in the back I really found that a lot of my photos when I'm just like snapping and walking forward and walking backwards they actually turn out super cute those are probably some of my favorite ones I like that better than the poses that I make sometimes because that pose is so awkward. <laughs> okay, just finished outfit number three. We got one more outfit to do. And I'm done. People always ask me like questions like, um, ah, hold on. People ask me a lot like, how do you get comfortable in front of the camera? Or how do you take pictures when people are watching? You just do it. Um, I think as I've done it, I've gotten a little more comfortable. Like today I was kind of on the street, cars was like looking and people was like all in my business. <laughs> but you know, I think people, like when you see someone on the side of the street taking photos, you gonna look too, you know? So I think it's about just doing it. If it's something that you really like to do, you're trying to get the shot, you want the picture, you want the scene, you want the uh, 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 just do it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna change outfits. All right, one thing, I just dropped my camera, y'all, and it did make a little chip on it. So one thing that I've been lazy about, which you just gotta, you just gotta be on top of it, is when you're taking your pictures or when you're, you know, doing whatever it is that you're doing, using these devices, like, this stuff is expensive, okay? Like, this is a $600, $700 camera. This stuff is expensive. So really just be careful. I mean, that's something so simple, but, like, sometimes you're just getting a rush, and I'll, and I'll just lay my camera down somewhere, kind of like y'all saw in my other video, just putting it up places you know I'm gonna be more diligent about it but just be careful be cautious yes you want to get the shot yes you want to do what you can do but you know you're gonna be real mad if you don't have your camera or your device anymore so don't take risk <laughs> all right guys so this last photo I have on, actually have on heels we ain't gonna really see all that but I got on some little heels gotta fix my skirt because I ain't really be trying to show all my goods to y'all but um and I got a little stain on my shirt but it's okay because we gonna whoo, fix that out I'm gonna show y'all how to do that but I'm gonna be taking it like right here and y'all can see it's like in the middle like the street so I'm actually not gonna bring my camera I would leave my camera on top of the car but what did I just say we ain't taking no chances okay so I'm gonna take the pictures and then we'll just I'll show y'all how I edit them later when I get home Okay guys, I'm finally done and my makeup is staring off. I was sweating and I tried to dab it and I'm left with who knows what. So I am about to, I'm going to have to go home and redo my makeup because I have one, two videos to record, maybe three. So I got my work cut out and my gas light came on in my car. So... Uh, my gas light, I'm sorry, my um, tire pressure light. And I'm supposed to go clean my car out today. All right, so we cleaned the tire. I mean, we got air in my tires, and now we're going to the car wash. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting so geeked about a car wash, y'all. I used to um, only get my car hand washed because these car wash machines, they do scratch your car up and things like that, but actually just sat down for like wasted like 40 minutes of my time but I told y'all my makeup is coming off I don't know if you can see it can you see it yeah see so we're about to fix that obviously we got to fix this lipstick too so I'm about to fix my makeup and then I have two videos I'm about to record and I need to go ahead and do this because this natural light is looking great right now oh yeah we want to record in front of this. All right, so let's go fix the makeup. Costume change, costume change. <sighs> I'm so tired. I think all the little errands I did run today, 
just wore me out. I have the worst lighting in my bathroom. It's like these yellow lights. So I look very yellow. Makeup is refreshed and we ready to start recording. So let's go ahead and set my camera up and show y'all what I use. Alrighty, so we switched cameras. So also now you guys, I'm using my cell phone. So this is a great segue to say, if you do not have a camera, use what you have. This cell phone is giving great quality. You probably really can't tell that I switched devices. I've made videos before where I use my cell phone. Um, the thing is that I'm looking right here. <laughs> this is like the big screen. So I'm technically looking at myself, but if I look right here, I'm looking into the camera. So it's crazy. But um, can I switch around? Pro tip, make sure you grab everything you think you're gonna need for the video. So it's right here and you do not have to grab for it. This is a, another bottle. I can't find my one that I've been using. I have like three of these, so I'm gonna have to open that. So you kind of want to have everything prepped and ready so you can easily grab it and go. <laughs> After I say that, I find what I need. So here's the one um, that we're gonna use. I'm gonna set you guys up um, maybe like somewhere over here so you can see everything. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Diamond, also known as the Diamond Denise here. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe. I would really love to have you join the fam. And if you're not new, you will know as always. Was it even recording? I don't think I was recording. <laughs> Make sure the, the, the red light is on. <laughs> so this is a camera that I typically use if I wanted to show you guys. So I told you guys I use the Canon G7X. Um, it has the flip up screen where you can see yourself. Um, and then I'm using, I usually use the Joby stand. And you can, you guys can get all of this. Look at my description box. I'm linking everything that I'm using. Oh, all right, guys, it's like five o'clock, I think, and we are now doing video number two. We're doing video number two. As you can see, we literally just changed the tops. So I don't be having time to change the whole outfit, so you ain't gonna see all that. So here's what I'm wearing. I made my scratchy match, I thought that was so cute. Now I'm gonna probably put this on again and y'all gonna see it on the gram after y'all see it on YouTube and don't come for me. Thank you. Here are my little notes for the video. You want to be as prepared as possible. So whatever notes you have, whatever, like you saw early in the other video I made, whatever supplies you have, you want it right here because nobody likes to go on a rant. I, let me turn this off for a second. Nobody wants to hear you go on a rant. I do it all the time though. Like on my Instagram stories, ciao. Instagram stories is just like the real you, honestly. But people want to watch a video, get straight to the point. Imagine yourself sitting down watching a video. You don't want to hear X, Y, Z, and, and, and. Granted, sometimes you may rant if it's appropriate and fitting, but you kind of want to limit the rants. You want to get to the point. What is the video about? People clicking on the video, they want to get the information and go. If you trying to tell them all, make them go all the way around to get to the point, by that time they have lost interest and they're going to be clicking off of your video. So I found it very helpful for me to get to the point by having, you know, a list. I want this video to be at least 10 minutes long. So I'm going to try not to tell too many stories, but I will be telling each story for it, all five of my points. And I'm going to state that, make that clear in, in and throughout the video. So ready? Action. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, thank you as always for being loyal. You guys know I appreciate you guys. So, so much. I, um, you mess up, you mess up. You just gotta start over or do it again because that happens all the time. <laughs> we gotta get a thumbnail. So, how I get my thumbnails, not all the time, but a lot of times is I will just record the video and I will just. So, 
So basically, I'm just recording. Um, I'm freezing myself so I can screenshot the photo. Let me show y'all. Here, here I am. Here's me. I don't know why I do this, but I'm just like freezing myself, pausing, because when I put the video on the camera, y'all will see that I'll be able to um, screenshot it. I like this setup because I can see myself. It's easy. I can see how long um, the video is. I can know when I need to get to the next point. So that's a great um, option or something great for me. I like it. Um, because I know I want to put some words over here, I was like leaning over to pose on this side. So just, those are some tricks of the tray. <sighs> okay. Your girl is tired, okay? I'm hungry. I made a chicken pot pie. I didn't make it, but I bought it. There's only a few things that I usually buy from Trader Joe's um, as far as like frozen foods go. I really need to get rid of them boxes. They still sit in there. Yeah, I gotta break them down. That's why they're all piled up. But there's only a few like frozen items that I buy from Trader Joe's and like this is one of them. So it's like the chicken pot pie, um, rich golden crust. You can cook it. I always do it in the oven and it's so Oh, it's so good. I should have bought some cookies because I now got like a little sweet tooth. But I'm about to sit down and let's see what we're gonna do. What do we have to do still? What's on my to-do list? So we recorded these videos. So we need to edit. We have to edit. We gotta do some captions. And that's it. We have the editing captions. And what time is it? 6.30? I really want it to be done by 6. So I think it's going to take me probably one hour, probably two hours. So 6. So probably 8.30 to be done with all that. And then after that, I'm going to just do stuff for myself. Like I'm going to chill for real. All right. Lately, I've been watching. Lately, I've been watching um, the show called Humans on Amazon. It's crazy actually, but I've been watching that. So I think that's what I might actually tune into a little bit tonight. Y'all, oh, I should have showed y'all the talk before I dug into it. So good. And it cooks like a, I keep it in the um, oven for like an hour and it comes out like perfect. It tastes homemade, to be honest. I can make homemade pot pie, but you know, Cooking for one person, trying to buy all those ingredients, that's a lot. It's a lot. She smoked? I didn't know she smoked. <laughs> I never wanna see you 